Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Concrete Network TV. I'm Maureen Barley. What would it take for you to change careers? After 25 years as a civil engineer, Ray Armadiris caught the decorative concrete bug and hasn't looked back since. It all started with a nice custom barbecue he built on what he calls a blah piece of concrete. That began his quest to find a solution with decorative concrete. After a year of tinkering with designs and small projects within his family, Ray decided to take the California contractor's exam and open his own company. Although Ray is relatively new to the decorative concrete business, he has a deep love for it. He strives every day to produce nothing but the best quality. Ray is gifted with an artistic talent that allows him to have fun designing his artwork. In fact, he's even found time to add custom gates and barbecue islands to his company's list of services. To read more about Ray and his work, search Ray Armadiris here at ConcreteNetwork.com. Are you looking for ways to infuse your concrete with color? Well, you have a multitude of options and a vast palette of color choices. Two of the most popular methods for coloring newly poured concrete are integral pigments and dry shake color hardeners. What's the difference? Integrally colored concrete is colored all the way through. The entire batch of concrete is colored, either at the plant or with color bags added at the job site. Dry shake color hardeners are broadcast onto the freshly placed concrete and then troweled into the surface. The concrete is not colored all the way through, but since the color is concentrated on the surface, a more intense color can be produced. Both provide long-lasting, fade-resistant color, and in the case of color hardeners, even improve surface hardness and durability. For new and existing concrete, you can impart rich earth tone shades using chemical stains, which is one of the most popular applications for transforming concrete slabs, or even more vibrant tones by using concrete dyes. The nice thing about working with dyes and stains is that you can mix them at the job site to obtain your desired color. For help choosing the best coloring product for your next project, read these guides from our Shop Smart series, Buying Stains and Dyes, and Buying Integral Color and Color Hardener for Concrete, here at ConcreteNetwork.com. Poof! Disappear! No, I'm not a magician, but Covercrete Systems of Orlando, Florida say they have captured magic in a bottle. Their product, Poof, allows you to make hardened concrete disappear. You heard right, hardened concrete can be removed with Poof. Covercrete says the key is to completely saturate areas of dry, hardened concrete to be removed with Poof with a sprayer or soft brush. Allow it to penetrate 10 to 15 minutes, then reapply to the same area. If you keep the surface wet with poof, the concrete will begin to soften and pull away from the clean surface, which takes about 20 to 30 minutes. For complete details on poof, visit covercrete.com. Are you interested in getting started in the decorative concrete industry, but don't know where to start or which direction to go? Or would you like to diversify your current business to fill the needs of your clients? Then come to the Bob Harris Four Day Workshop. March 27th through the 30th. He and other industry leaders will share their knowledge and experiences with you. They'll demonstrate decorative applications, including concrete countertops, epoxy systems, stamped concrete, spray down applications, vertical applications, skim coats, faux and specialty techniques, and much more. Remember, the training course with Bob Harris will be held March 27th through the 30th, 2007. For more information, visit DecorativeConcreteInstitute.com and don't miss it! That's all for now. Join us next time as we continue to bring you the latest information on the decorative concrete industry and the people who make it all happen. Be sure to check back next week when we'll feature concrete speakers, if you can believe that. I'm Maureen Barley. Thanks for watching.